I had no clue that sand fleas existed, but they came after my ass hard. I was clawing my legs and I could uh. feel just whelps from my toes to right under my tits. Thank God they didn't yeah, get my yeah, holes. Yeah, yeah. I'd never had a yeast infection, which I haven't. A week later, guess who gets their first yeasty? You wanted to stick a just one of those bristle brushes up there and oh, just- Oh, you, I can't believe they'll make that toothbrush if I feel good up there. Oh, oh my God. Nice. Also with Kegels, I don't know what I'm doing. Like, I don't get, I can't just center just the and just, or whatever I'm supposed to be like, no, how do you? And I'm doing them right now. And when I do I, them, it makes me nauseous. Like I don't know if I, what I'm squeezing down there. You squeeze your lips together. Like I don't really understand what. I just squeeze near the hole. Just the. How do you center just the hole? What are you squeezing? I don't know. That's the problem. I can't just squeeze that part of my body. I, I just mentally. I wish you could look at what I'm squeezing right now and just, and just watch <laughs> I, it do this. I, I know. Cause I was like, I feel like my ass is squeezing. I don't know what's oh, going no, on. Oh no, that's a different. No. Yeah, I, I don't think. I think I got my holes all twisted up <laughs> your down there. Holes are twisted. My holes are all up. messed up. What's the last weird thing somebody had stuck inside them? Holy hell, holy shit. Look, I love staph infection. I love my guests. This, this one I've been very excited for for a very long time. I have motherfucking Chelsea Lynn in the goddamn house. Hey, honeys, I'm here. I, okay, you, I have been tagged in your videos more than anybody else on the planet. Because I have this fucking stupid character named Marcy, and people are like, Tammy and Marcy need to hook up. This is the collab the world needs. Oh, dude, let's do it. People are like losing their mind over it. They're gonna, this is it. Let's do it. And then I like was like, who's it? Because this was like, we take the first time. I'm like, who the fuck are you talking about? And I saw you, I was like, oh, this bitch is crazy. <laughs> oh, Hell this bitch yes. is absolutely obsessed. We gotta collab, do some TikToks, we gotta some YouTube, collab. whatever. We gotta slam our tits. Because I've watched your tits slamming the cockroach so many times. It's like psychotic. Yep. Yep. I wanted to ask, because you, didn't you have to um, redo your whole Instagram because you got... Oh, yeah. I had like 1.2 million followers and Instagram just said, no, nope, you're done. No, nope, you're done. No more. And I was like, I'm sorry? Uh, sorry you're, what you're was done. that? Yeah. Well, you're done. And I was like, okay, cool. Like, what do you, like, I, I, did you not ball your eyes out? I would have fucking snapped. It was more, it was just ridiculous because it was for no reason. And it was, I had so much content on there that I hadn't like saved or put, you of know, like, so. well, yeah, well, we think, yeah. you know, and so people still to this day, like, oh, can you repost the so-and-so video? I'm like. It's gone, brother. Yeah, and I'm not doing. I'm not doing that again. <laughs> it's gone. It's because the, the internet doesn't reward um, women who like to speak their mind, who uh, aren't uh, anorexic uh, and their nipples yep. hanging out. Yeah, that's the problem. Yep. This is this is the issue here. Yeah, funny women who are uh, happy with their bodies, and well, I'm, I'm not, but. Uh, <laughs> No, I, I've got problems. But I mean, like, you know, women who speak yeah. their mind, who are dirty and fucking loud yep. and, and don't give a shit. They're like, oh, you're not wearing a white tank top and both your nipples are facing the ceiling? Bye. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's fucking and annoying. I just had to restart and I don't even care. I'm I'm stronger than ever now. I mean, oh, and they, you're killing it. Like, you're fucking. Thank you. It's, yeah, it's not like you. People yeah. are still coming back and falling. So you're like lost. And it's also like not it affected your career at all. It didn't. No, 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 no. it didn't. Like like show ticket sales, merch sale. I mean, pe no, not at no, all. No, no, so no, no. that's good. But it's just the principle of it of it being ridiculous. Yeah. Community guidelines are ridiculous. You can't. It's just yeah. I was just kind of like okay, well, starting fresh. Yeah, because you how do you do on TikTok? Because I'm shadow banned right now on TikTok. It's so <gasps> fucking annoying. TikTok is hit or miss. Okay. Um, I feel like I I haven't been posting ever, and then the last couple months i'm like okay let me let me start posting and it's okay yeah. okay yeah, yeah it's okay but i have to really water it down oh yeah oh no no swearing oh you can't see vagina but it's not allowed i had one i had a tiktok taken down this morning while i was out in the car um because page was page had vaped in it and i'm just like i'm sorry a, what a, a vape is yeah. when they're like no yeah it said drug abuse taken down it's just no it's crazy now it's annoying and it's, it's crazy so annoying but i'm so glad you're here i'm so Woo! glad the internet got us fucking together yes wearing a fucking bucky shirt my god because i saw a video of yours on tiktok and i screamed so loud and fell in love and started following you and that's what i think i messaged you on uh Instagram. you did yes you I did. Said, i'm fucking obsessed <laughs> you're like i'm in and i'm like well, i'm also obsessed <laughs> yeah 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 so the internet brought us together it really did i think i think because we probably fall into the same algorithm mm -hmm. yeah so if someone likes you they like me it's like that it's that kind of like yeah we both are allowed pigs exactly <laughs> for real <laughs> and we don't give a shit and i'm like no. that, that that'll definitely but look bucky's i gotta get to bucky's um i love bucky's uh, yes 
And I have been loving Bucky since before it was popular. I'm going to be annoying and okay, say that. No, no, do it. <laughs> Years ago, loving Bucky's, And all of a sudden, this past year, it's blown up. And I'm like, rightfully so. It's crazy. You can get popcorns, a brisket sandwich, mm-hmm. a cross to hang on your wall. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, one stop the three, shop. The three things we all need. The three, the three things. things when you're on a long car ride. Like, God, if I just could get. <laughs> My thing is uh, the, the, the pumps. 100? Is that the number? Is there more than 100 pumps? The amount oh, of yeah. gas pumps? Like, yeah. so we, I just drove. Uh, there's one in fucking Oklahoma. Yep. That one we stopped at, um, and I was like laughing. So like, I want to do a video where we pulled behind one car and I just started laying on the horn, like "Hurry it up!" When there's literally five hundred other. Lit, <laughs> that's funny. That's I didn't funny. do it because I was like embarrassed. I'm like, God damn it! I need to do it with somebody you know, dude. And they are. If you've never been to a Bucky's, they're like bigger than a Walmart. Mm. I mean. It's huge. it's crazy, and yeah. the, the clothing. I was I'm in the clothing area. I got an oversized big gray sweater. I was gonna get the matching pants. It's I have a toque. I have that exact thing. Yep. I have a toque. I'm obsessed. Beanie. Sorry. Closets full. Closets, Closets full <laughs> of Bucky's. My favorite name brand. Is it? Yeah, yeah. People like Kirkland. You like you're in big Bucky's. Big Bucky <laughs> right. set over here. Right. I'm obsessed. Yes. So you okay? So when did you pop off? Like when did you? How long have you been doing comedy for? Like. Gosh, I've been doing the whole internet thing for 10 years now, 10 which is years. wild wow. to, to say. Were you a Vine person? Yeah, Vine. Oh, fuck. Okay. I was a Viner. Okay. Yeah. So were you doing Vine before you did anything live? Oh, yeah, for years. Oh, shit. I just started stand-up uh, two and a half years ago. Oh, fuck. Yep. So that I, that still feels super fresh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, two and a half years ago, um, <clears throat> stand-up, and that's... I never even intended on doing that. That was like a pressure from followers okay and i kept saying i can't do stand like what i can't do stand up and then literally one day i was like you know what let me just try i may suck at it i may be horrible at it but i just want to try but there's no way because you're a funny person and you've been performing this whole time thank you um i had one show in dallas and i got bit by the bug baby i was like oh yeah oh Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because you're when you had that immediate response, you're like, oh, okay. yeah. And then you're feeding off that fucking mm-hmm. energy. Yeah. And yeah, I wasn't yeah. horrible, so I was like, okay, like, yeah, this can be a thing. And I've been torn. We've been torn literally. I would say nonstop for two years, pretty much. Oh, I've seen you. You yeah. guys are on the road all the fucking time. Mm-hmm. Like, yep. Is it every weekend? Like, what are you doing? We like to go. I like to go out for like two, two or three months at a time, and we go in my suburban. And drive Jesus show Christ. to show to show to show to show midweek. We'll have five shows in a week. Just I knock them out and then take. And two you're driving. Them. Yeah, me, my sister, Libby, Tina D Ball. Oh my we're, god, um, she's a comic from St. Louis. Um, and you know Libby, you know she. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and we just drive. We carry my merch trailer and we just go. Wow. We go. That's wild. So you know, you don't have. I, I in my head thought you had like a fucking tour bus and shit. No, we used to have an RV, okay. but um, that would always leave us stranded and we would have no place to park and it was hell so i sold the rv fuck this okay so we just drive a suburban and we literally do all the driving we do everything that's wild yeah and there's these big fucking male comics having their fucking dick dragged around and probably fucking suck the piss out for them and you're like (laughs) pumping gas and yeah fucking oklahoma freezing your fucking jugs off stopping at every bucky's we see (laughs) (laughs) getting those little popcorn nugget things god damn it that's i this is crazy yeah but you never fly well we not to shows i fly all the time but not not to shows because i because we make more money selling our own merch yeah, because merch is a big thing for us yeah, in the yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. and we just make more money doing it, and so that's what we're sticking with. Yeah, that makes and more that's sense. why we drive. That's why you need the trailer. And shit. Yeah, yeah, fuck, exactly. So I'm, like, I'm not. I don't have that much. I just do like a suitcase. Yeah, and I got like one big fucking jack suitcase. Oh, we have a whole big old merch booth. My sister runs the merch booth. She she is the merch I gal. Love that. I and love she, that. Yep, we do all of it. And I've tried to not have merch at shows just because it's a hassle yeah. and people freak. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we got to have the merch trailer. So we do everything and we do all the driving and yeah. Oh my God. It's fun though. It is. Mm-hmm. I like a, I like a road trip. Yeah. Especially That's, if you got it down to a fucking science. Yes. You're stopping. Uh, you know what I'm going to say? I, I just did the drive across the country with the BF. Gas station bathrooms have really stepped up their fucking games. Okay. Yeah. Here are my tour dates. Please come see me. If you like my comedy, follow me, subscribe to my YouTube and keep Following along the 7th Action, follow 7th Action Podcast. Anyways, here are my tour dates. New Brunswick, New Jersey, 
for my birthday, March 7th to 9th. Come to that. My boyfriend's also doing a set. LOL, better be funny. And then I'll be in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. Please come see me in Canada, March 14th to 16th. Uh, that's it for now. Follow my Instagram. Bye. I- I'm here to shout out, especially like uh, Circle K. Clean mm. every single time. Mm-hmm. I, and, you, and they got the polar pops. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. the polar pops. That's where. So you you must know. You must be the fucking we connoisseur. We know gas stations. We know which ones to stop at, which ones to not. Like we know what has what bathrooms. Yeah. Like down to a T. Like there's a Bucky bathrooms. Very clean. Exquisite. I could rub my clit on the entire seat and not have a problem with mm-hmm. it. No, and enjoy it. Oh, yeah. Enjoy every yeah, second yeah. of it. Get off in there. Yeah. What are you doing there? <laughs> Give me a minute. Me and Bucky, I have business. Y- I have yet to masturbate in Bucky's, but you just put an idea in my head. <laughs> I'm actually shocked by that. And and I'm not kidding. I'll probably do it now. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you you would have anyone, if you something like that, you actually would do. And I'm going to try it. Like what if there's probably nothing you haven't done? Right, except masturbating to Bucky's. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then yeah. Now but it's I feel on. like if you masturbate in other places, like publicly, you know what? I'm not a public masturbator. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think you that is something you love to do, but I like to be laid on my back on my bed. You know what? That's exactly me. I, are other people doing it other ways? Some people stand. And Standing like, feels perverse. And I just can't, I can't nut. I've got no, to no, be no. laying on my back. No, I must be on my back. Yes. I must be on the back vibrator directly on the clip. Yeah. Several months ago, I thought, you know what? I've never, I've never masturbated not on my back. Man, we're starting off strong here. Yeah, we're starting off real strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought I've never masturbated not on my back. I'm going to roll on my side and just see if I'm capable. Okay. And it took me a fucking hour. It's but I got long. there. You you tried the whole time. You mm-hmm. didn't go back. No, nope, and I kept, I mean, I was pushing through. Because on your back, you know, 30 seconds, you're done. Oh, it yeah, literally yeah, took yeah, about yeah. an hour. But I did it. So I know I'm capable of it. <laughs> I don't have time for that. I mean, I don't think you do either. Well, you probably so, had to get up and edit <laughs> seven videos and then drive to fucking yeah, Timbuktu. So, science experiments. I, yeah. I wanted to see if I could do it. I tried I in the shower one standing. And it was, I think I was on, on the road and I was like, just like sad. I'm like, I want to get rid of this. Yeah. It was, it, it took too long too. Yeah, I was like, that's that, the it was thing. like soggy. And I was like, this is, I, I feel weird in it's there too. It's very weird. You too gotta bright. be just, yeah. Like I, my room's dark when I'm doing it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's gotta be dim. Oh, gotta be in the bed, but I will try Bucky's and I'm not even kidding. I'll tag you in the video. <laughs> Go live and me in the background watching. <laughs> you got this. <laughs> just getting really into it. Just giving you the fucking, okay. Oh my God. I love this. But you just went on a little vacation. <gasps> We went to the Bahamas for yes. for uh, Libby's 50th birthday. That's what that was. Okay, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. It looked very nice. And listen, we had a wonderful time. I've never been to the Bahamas before. Uh-huh. Beautiful. It, you, it looked ni- nice place. You're staying. Water looks very clean. Beach right, right mm-hmm. in front of our house. Private beach. We were topless 90% of the time. Oh, it was nice. It okay. was great. Private beach? Oh, that's good. Private beach. So you weren't in like a, oh, I like that. There was two houses beside us, but half the time there wasn't any people there. So oh, when they okay. weren't there, like, like nobody checked in. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, I love this. Um, second to the last day, though, um, my world got flipped upside down. <laughs> Let's get into this because I saw the pictures and I was like, oh, bitch, I, it was bad. I didn't know, I had no clue that sand fleas existed, <laughs> but they came after my ass hard. Yeah. So first day we were there, I noticed right on the beach that my legs were a little itchy, but it wasn't, it was just kind of like, oh, there's, you know, a little itchy. And, we, and all of us had like one or two little red bumps, like nothing. Yeah. Could have been a mosquito. Yeah. Sunny out. Heat. Right. Who knows? But man, I don't know. Second to the last day, I, I was laying in bed and could not sleep. I was clawing my legs and uh. I could feel just whelps from my toes to right under my tits. Okay? Woke up. On the puss? No, not the puss, but around like the leg area okay, of the puss. Okay. That's the worst spot. Butthole? Nope. No butt. Just, Mm-mm. okay. okay. Just, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Because that would have really mm-hmm. fucked up. Thank God they didn't yeah, get my yeah, holes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Because <laughs> I would have been like, they're inside there. They've made yeah. a new home. Yeah. And I don't know if I brought them in with me I, because they're microscopic. Oh. The sand, like they're like, they're, well, they're like, you can't really so you see them. you couldn't even see them bouncing nope. right, nothing. Nope. Nope. 
Oh. You don't see them. You don't see them. And I don't know if I if they were on what I was wearing or something, and I brought it on the bed. I don't know. But I woke oh, up no. and there was not a spot besides my holes that were not covered in whelps. The biggest, nastiest oh, whelps. Oh, it God. looked like a disease or something. No, I'm serious. It, it, it was not bad. like. Were you like feverish too, or just no, full scratchy? Felt fine. Okay. Just scratchy. And when I say scratchy, like, ugh. Not, I mean, crying in pain. That's how bad it was. Are you not scarred now? Well, I have a couple like little, like a little like okay. scarring on my legs, but they'll go away. They're getting there yeah, soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But I would say it's 95% gone. But for two days, it was agony. Oh, God. And no one else, everybody else was fine. And we, you were like, what the fuck is going on? Dude, we went down to the local little convenience store, which we went to Exuma and it was completely like, there was hardly anything on the island. Like restaurant wise, it wasn't very developed, which was nice. But, you're like, but when you have a medical emergency, yeah, 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 you're like, uh, I got issues here. Yeah, someone has to deal so with it. So the lady working there was like, oh yeah, like this happens all the time. You should have bought like bug spray. We're like, oh, well, we had no clue. Yeah, no. So basically, she just like that topical, you know, yeah, which, like cam. What's that? The, the, yes. like whatever the fucking white cream is yep. you put on. That doesn't do shit. It didn't do anything. No, no, no. So I had to just literally suffer in pain i was on the plane oh just scratching on the plane yeah uh, just in pain and, and also could, people to play by looking at you because did you have like your bare legs out or did you have it covered i had the bare legs out i didn't yeah. give a shit yeah, yeah yeah i was wearing like a muumuu dress i was like i don't yeah, i, I do not fuck. care because it's air it out too at that point I don't yes know, like, well, exactly in the pants but it's so tight in those air, airplanes anyway so i was yeah. you know you know oh the leaning over and the scratching uh, it, was, it was bad the worst thing I've ever experienced in uh, terms of anything like that. Skin things. So you've never had like a skin thing before never. that? Never. Okay. I've never had anything. You Nothing? Know? Just a boil, an ingrown hair. You've never had ingrown hair? Never. You Nothing. bitch. I've never had anything <laughs> like that. <laughs> oh my God. And on, our, on my podcast, I had mentioned that I'd never had a yeast infection, which I haven't. A week fucking later, guess who gets their first yeasty? Was it also from the beach too? No, 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 no. Okay, this was yeah, this yeah. was just I don't know what it was. A lot but of fucking. Yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah, okay. You know, I fuck a lot. You know. <laughs> <laughs> been married, been married sixteen years. We fuck constantly. I love that. Yeah, we don't. Y you don't. <laughs> You're both still horny pigs. Yeah, I'm this is good. I'm hornier than he is. You know how people are like, oh, like my wife never wants to fuck. That's us reversed. <laughs> You're like my He's husband. He's like, get away from me. <laughs> that's 16 us. fucking years. My fucking yeah. God. 16 years. My God. It doesn't. That's wild. That's. How old are you? 36. Shit. 30. Yeah, I'm trying to think. 36. My God. I'll, I'll be 37 in August. We got together. Had just turned 18. So I've been, I've been with him. Yeah. We've been together 18 years. That's wild. You've been with him uh, I've, almost as long as I've been in comedy. That's insane. Yeah. Yeah, but um, got got my first yeasty, so now I'm afraid of like That's saying. That's wild. Did he notice the yeasty? Because he was like, he's been in that puss for a long time. Oh, he pro oh he didn't go. He didn't he barely wants to go near it anyway. So <laughs> he was. <laughs> he didn't he's notice. Like, Is there something different about it? Right. I can't tell. Right, right, right. And how was it? Crazy? Horrible. Oh, I th the first one I think comes on strong. Because I didn't know. Okay, here's the thing. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what was happening. Yeah. And if I would have known what I know now, I would have stuck something up there day right one. Was it the itch first or did you get the discharge first? Itch. Yeah. I never really got no, the, the discharge. discharge. Oh, then you're good. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I waited until it was level 10 burning scratching before I was like, something's wrong. Yeah. I, How? I, it's so sensitive down there. I, I don't know. And then it was too late and, oh, and life God. was fucked up for about two weeks and it was horrible. Two weeks it you was, had it. It was bad. And so, but now I know like what to, you know. Okay. But you wanted to stick a, just one of those bristle brushes up there and oh, just. Oh, you, you, I it, can't believe it'll make that toothbrush if I feel good up there. Oh, oh my God. Nice. I literally just told this to Libby, but in Canada, you can get the pills over the counter. Okay. So the next time you go to Canada, go to a shop or drug mart and stock up. They're $20. Okay. And I literally, I have them in my house. I could have brought, because Libby said she has one now. I'm like, yeah. I would have given you fucking pills now. Damn. I okay, know. that's good to know. know. Yeah. All right. Are they the ones you pop up there? No. Nope. Or, or, okay. And gone in ten hours. Gone. Holy yeah. moly! Because the, the also the monostats, the egg thing doesn't work. It's dribbling around and it comes out. You're like, what the fuck is it? Disgusting. No, they don't. 
Okay, that's good that, to know. Yeah, yeah, I will do that. So you're just a clean bill of health. Well, besides the obesity, yeah. Okay. <laughs> we know no nothing else. <laughs> no, like never had like a break or a like a serious accident. I'm trying to think. I had my appendix removed. Okay, that's something. Um, when I was, gosh, 13. That's young. Yeah. What the hell? Why? And that just... caught, dude. I was on my way home from um, softball practice, and um, literally like couldn't walk from the car to my house. Just bent over, just in pain. Went to the doctor and they're like, "Yeah, your appendix uh, ruptured." I was like, "Cool." So they went and removed that. Um, later, found out it had cancer in it, which was shocking. But he was like, "Oh," he goes, "This is your appendix." It busted on this end. The cancer was on this end. And he said, and if anyone were to have cancer, this is the best kind of cancer to have because it doesn't spread and it's not deadly. And I'm just like, like what the heck? <laughs> You're like, wait the fuck? K. Okay. K. Okay. Um, so they took it out and they found that out after. That's Yeah, funny. after. Oh, Jesus yeah. Christ. So that's all I heard about. I was like, okay, don't even know what it was. Like nothing. My so I'm God. like, that's You're interesting. Like, Glad that's out of there. Glad that ruptured. <laughs> right. Um, fuck. And since... After that happened, I noticed right away that <laughs> I start <laughs> I don't know how I started pissing my pants. Oh, like a big piss? Like well, you know, like when you just have like when you laugh and you just pee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Extreme. So like a full the surgery did something. I don't know if that catheter thing messed something up or what. Oh, I need a catheter in there. Oh yeah. Oh for the surgery. But when that when I had that surgery for like a year after just i mean i had to wear just pads every day because it just every i got i would stand up and just you know oh shit so the surgery messed with that for several years it got better guess what's coming back pp the pp are you uh, kegels have you heard of that helping <gasps> okay i tried doing those i don't think they work for me but i've had so many people tell me about like this certain like you can go to a doctor and, and like show you sit in this chair that like people swear by it. I forgot what it's called. Sit in the chair. You sit in this chair. I don't know if they put something. In. I don't know details. I, I people have told me about this, huh. and I want to go. They said it's supposed to keep you from from doing that, from peeing. Okay. Because these pads are getting expensive. Are you are they like the night pads or are they special pee pads? No, I just wear regular pads. Okay. But I almost have to wear them every day. Like I like I, if I laugh, if I stand up hard. Yeah, you I gotta, have to go you, change yeah. pants. No, you you need to try something. Right. This is <laughs> a lot of money on pads. I know you're like you have nothing. I'm like, well, buckle yeah, up. Yeah, I yeah. piss my pants. <laughs> no, I have a pee thing. Every time I ride a bicycle, the second I get off, I piss. Oh, like a big a big dollop. Because it's. Cause I think it's, it's just like the hard yeah. pounding or something. Yeah. And I also, if I laugh too hard, I, I'll pee. A pee. Yeah. Like it's a very serious. But I, I, I also with Kegels, I don't know what I'm doing. Like, I don't get, I can't just center just the clit and just, or whatever I'm supposed to be like, no, how do you, and I'm doing them right now. And when I do I, them, it makes me nauseous. Oh, it God. like makes me sick to my stomach. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and, I, and I don't know why. That's really strange. It doesn't make you nauseous when you do it. Do it. I don't do know. It, I'm doing, doing it right now, now, but I, I can't tell what oh. I'm doing. Like, <laughs> I don't know if I, what I'm squeezing down there. You squeeze your lips together. Like, I don't really understand what I just squeeze near the hole. Just the, how do you center just the hole? What are you squeezing? I don't know. That's the problem. I can't just squeeze that part of my body. I, I just mentally. I wish you could look at what I'm squeezing right now and just, and just watch <laughs> I, it do this. I, I know. Because I was like, mine is no way. I feel like my asshole is squeezing. I don't know what's oh, going no, on. Oh, no. That's a different. No. Yeah, I, I don't think. I think I got my holes all twisted up <laughs> your down there. Your holes are twisted up. My holes are all up. messed up. Your holes are Okay, twisted. so you, yeah, you got to get something going. Have you told your doctor this? No, I don't have a, I don't have a doctor. Good. No, I don't know. Good, good. good. <laughs> Good, good, good. That sounds that <laughs> sounds perfect. Don't pee. Um, so what, no doctor. Oh no, I don't go to the doctor. You don't go. You just well, no, I don't. I, no, and I just moved to Nashville, so I don't. I just don't have. You know, I haven't been to the okay, doctor there. Okay. But I had a physical. I had like a one of those hardcore adult like five hour physicals okay, about good, a good, year good. ago. Okay, the breast exam, everything. Start to finish, head okay, to toe. Good, good, they good, did good, good, everything good. because I thought, you know what? I'm like, thir I was 35. I go, I haven't, I'm, you know, no longer 20. Yeah, I yeah, need to yeah. go have a physical. And shockingly, I didn't even have high blood pressure. Oh, shit. Yeah. Nothing. It was perfect. And I was like, great. Okay. You know, so that's good. That's good. <laughs> You're like, that's very good. Okay, that's good. Yeah, good. I'm glad you got, and you got the whole pop. But also, oh, yeah. you wouldn't have anything because you've been the same guy for 16 years. 
Oh, exactly. So you're, you know, yeah, you're fine down there. That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got nothing over down there. Um, but uh, yeah, man, I got that done, which was nice because at the time I was like having not really panic attacks, but a little like, you know, your heart would, you know, heart would yeah. feel a little. And so I was like, God, am I gonna have a heart attack? So I there went and got that anxiety too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So where were we living before Nashville? San Diego for ten years. S- I don't know San Diego shit. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm from Oklahoma. Yes. But we lived in San Diego for 10 years and I loved it so much. And we miss it, man. We've been in Nashville for a year and I love Nashville. But so what made that move? Was this is Well, we a few different reasons. We wanted land and yeah. you can't get that down here. Oh no. No, 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 no. No, no, unless you're a <laughs> multimillionaire, you ain't getting shit. You're not, you know. No. So, um we bought 100 acres 15 oh, minutes north of downtown. That's unreal for some for for the cost of what like a half an acre would be here oh, like it's not just even, wild. yeah <clears throat> that's wild. crazy um it's just cheaper living there yeah you know, now that you said, are, as soon as you say the land thing that makes sense yeah, yeah if you want to because were you did you own a house in san diego we yeah yeah okay, and we yeah. kept it and we're renting it out yeah, so that's yeah, yeah. nice good, 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 yeah good. because it's like nowadays buying any of this shit is fucking crazy right because actually we, we were looking um we, we me and my boyfriend joke look at places that we want to like buy but we were looking at nashville because he loves nashville it's so it's such a cool city too. It's a cool city. So many people are moving from LA to Nashville. A lot of comics, um, <clears throat> and Nashville has become like little Hollywood. Little, yeah. you know, it's not like a boring town. There's always There's stuff going yeah. on. It's clean. It's very clean. It is. I said in East Nashville, it was like fucking night. I was like, that's the bad part. I'm like, what's bad about it? It's squeaky right. clean. Right. Yeah. I love it. We're loving yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, But I miss the taco shops. Mm-hmm. And, you know, there's things I miss, but. But you don't need. I, I feel like I have to be here still because I have to be in Hollywood and still mm-hmm. do the whole thing here. I'm like, you got your own thing going. You don't need to be. Mm-mm. I don't feel that at all. No. And matter of fact, I was like, I can do this anywhere. Oh, yeah, you can. I can do this anywhere and I'm here I come back to California every you're, you're couple when I need to do you know yeah, I'll just yeah. come it's not a big deal yeah and yeah, yeah. yeah. you know fucking what $200 flights nothing exactly you zip it over here yeah it's right. fucking great yeah but it's I'm insane. loving that y'all should move to Nashville yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you sound so Nashville with the y'all and y'all. you're like we're in Oklahoma I just drove through Oklahoma that place is I, I wonder if y'all drove did y'all drive through Thackerville Oklahoma that's where I'm from mm. Windstar Casino no I don't think we did we no. um we have the world's largest casino world oh my god but it's the littlest town i graduated high school with 12 people 12 <sighs> six boys six girls oh my mm-hmm. god mm-hmm. no we had one little convenience store no restaurants no stoplights no nothing we have a gravel pile oh is that what you had recess <laughs> it's, it's, those are blocks. it's literally a, a big a big just you know parking lot full of gravel and we just hang out Jeez. there and Jeez. The, but all like, 12 of you there's like big piles of gravel and we would just like literally like hang out at the gravel pile how big is this casino like what are we talking like if it's bigger than fucking vegas what are we it talking is here? Like, it's huge and they started building it when i was like a junior in high school and it was like real small and then within a couple years it was huge i mean it's it's literally the world's largest casino how many <clears throat> rooms? It's fucking crazy. In it's my god. So that's what people come just for mm-hmm. that. So is there anything else in the town, or is just now they've kind of built? There's a Sonic around the okay, casino. Okay. <laughs> there's ooh, really <laughs> branching think, out. I think that's it. Wow. They built like a little hotel. Like it is everything's in the casino. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But yeah. that's where I'm from, man. Thackerville, Oklahoma. Jesus, I love hearing like <clears throat> comics that start in such a small little like. But fuck nowhere town. Yep. And, like, just and I talk about it a lot. I, you know, my my <clears throat> mom was a meth head growing up. Um, I, I talk a lot about that. Um, like, here's the thing. With my stand-up, I perform as Trailer Trash Tammy. Okay. But all the material is, like, true to me. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like, real yeah. life to me. All the stories are real life to me. Yeah. Um, I just tell them as Tammy. Because Tammy's also kind of part of you, right? Like, it's like, a, yeah. an extent, it's kind of an extended version, kind of. Like, most characters come from, like, a real place. It really is. Yeah. Yeah. And um, every once in a while, Greg, my husband, will literally be like, uh, I hear a little bit of Tammy coming out. You need to calm down. Yeah. You know? <laughs> um, but, no, everything online that I do of Tammy is all, like, made up. Yeah. Like, you know, the storylines are made up. The improv is made up. Like, it's all, like, truly a character. Yeah. But the stand-up is real. Because I felt like, ah, if I, like, make up 
stuff for stand up, it's not going to be good. It's not going to be. And I almost didn't want to do that. I go, I've got stuff I want to say that's yeah. my, you know what I mean? And it's also, it's, I find it easier to yes. uh, come from a very real place. And th- it's things you want to talk about. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's like, it's funnier because they're, they're, you know, they're, they're real. Right. And it works. I could literally just not do the character and just do the stand up as Chelsea and it would still work. Yeah. Just as good. So, but people love Tammy and it's also easier to do it in character because it's almost like a security blanket. Yeah. It's almost like, oh, well, if it's not good or if I fuck up, it's, it's just, a- <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Would you ever think you'd want to like get out of that though and do just you and not be under like the Tammy umbrella? I personally don't. I could do okay. stand up as Tammy forever, but my fans are really pushing for some Chelsea stand up. Okay. okay. So I would do it for them. I have yeah. done, I have done stand up as Chelsea and it's fine. It's great. It's yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah. I love it. But there's something about t- it's just easier as Tammy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But people are really pushing me. Like, we love well, they it. Yeah. We love Tammy. Like, but we want some Chelsea stand up. I'm only asking because there's this comedian in Canada who has this character on stage where he does a fake French accent. And I think when he first started, he was into it. Okay. But he's he speaks English. Yeah. But on stage, he's a whoa, whoa, hey, okay. she, she, And it's like a full French thing. Yeah. But it's like, I think uh, he's been doing it for a long time now. And I'm like, you think he's stuck? He can't like, oh yeah, he's stuck. Fans no, he's, are... It's done now. Oh. It's, oh, he's way, way too far in. Well, that's kind of like, because um, he doesn't have no accent. Like, you can't have like a. Yeah. That's very much like, um, oh gosh, what's his name? I can't really, I can't remember his name right now because I'm a huge fan of his, but I have a, I have a brain. Oh, what's the guy who does the... Oh, the, like the Larry the Cable guy? Larry the okay. Cable okay. guy. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah. he's a... I didn't know for the longest time that that's a character. Uh-huh. And he's open about it, but he, like, you know, he, he's locked in on that, does not, you know, do anything else. But I'm very open with... You know, people know Tammy's a character, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're definitely very... Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Were you around a lot of, like, trailer people when you were growing up? Was oh, that- I am trailer people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am trailer people. You're like I am. Tra- I've never. I think I've been in one trailer park in my life. Oh, yeah. You Excuse s- me. You seem like a trailer park. I ho. know. I know. I do. You really do. I'm I shocked know. By that. I know. I do. Yeah. Yeah. We had like. Huh. Um. Yeah. My parents were. They're still like. Uh, blue collar. Like okay. working parents. I wasn't like rich yeah. as a kid or anything like that. Yeah. But like yeah. Oh yeah. I grew up. Um. Uh, like a lot of trailer. Oh yeah, in oh, trailer. Shit. Oh shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We um I have lived in trailer parks but like my grandma had a trailer on like a uh, half an acre of land. Ooh. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Fancy trailer, bitch. <laughs> excuse me. It had holes in the floor still, but it had, we yeah, had yeah, on yeah, a half yeah. an acre of land. <laughs> you know. <laughs> you could put more trailers on there if you wanted. That's how the trailer parks start. That's how they start. You, you get, get one. one person that has a little bit of land. It's like, ah, <laughs> park her out back. <laughs> and they're telling someone else to park it out back and park it out back. And then there That's you go. That's how they start. Wow. I have a bit about that. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. So well, you must have seen some crazy like body things on the trailer park. Any like oh, wild gosh. like accidents? I t- I've talked about this on another pod, but I'll bring it up any chance I get. I, f- I smelt my first dead body. <gasps> So that counts. Uh, yeah, that does count. Now, it wasn't in a trailer park, but we were living in government apartments. Fuck. Government housing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That kind of counts. Oh, it does you know? count. So <laughs> you, was it in, like, on your floor, or was it, like, through, like, down she, the hallway or something? She was, they were all, like, those outside apartments, and we lived with, um, we, there was- you mean outside apartments? Like, the, 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 there was no hallways. Oh, okay, They okay. were all, like, you know- Almost well, like a motel-y kind yeah. of thing? Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and there was this old lady named Peggy who lived, I don't know- kind of across the street in one of the, like a, another building but super close yeah 10 second walk okay and um she hated us and we loved fucking with her we love we would when her daughter would come pick her up to take her into town to get groceries and stuff we knew it and we would we would break through her window and go eat her snickers ice cream bars this is wild. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I was like 11. Poor Peggy. Oh, my God. And no, she was mean. She's, okay, she's bad. She was Fuck mean. Peggy. Okay, okay. She would flip us off. And she would always do this to us. What is that? <laughs> and I have no idea what that is. And now to this day, me and my sister go. <laughs> so. Um, That's so funny. How it, old is she? Oh, she was. <sighs> old. Late bat. 80s. Okay, okay. And just old. Like a miserable old woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And. 
it was like probably he, masturbate standing up. Pro- yeah, probably. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it was midsummer, hot in Oklahoma, hot, hot, hot. Oh. And I thought, and she would always set out, and she would always set out on uh, her front porch and like watch us and like flip us off as we rode our bikes and stuff. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> and wasn't and she wasn't like happy like she was really like you know couldn't stand yeah, us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And looking back now, God, I love her. Yeah. How, <laughs> I love her too. How great is you that? You gotta do a character on Peggy. I'm like, come on. Right. So it was a heat of the summer. I thought I haven't seen Peggy in a few days. Oh. That's so weird. You know, where's Peggy? She's always outside. You know. I go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go fuck with her. I'm gonna see what she's up to. Walked over there. Woo got close to the door okay and was slapped in the face oh, with the odor God. of a dead body and i immediately knew it was a dead body because it must be one of those smells you're like this is something i've never smelled before i don't know what this is yeah you know i was probably 11 12 probably 11 and and i'd never smelt one before but when you know you know yeah i knew instantly it was the worst thing i've ever smelled and I turned right back around. I didn't oh, even knock. No, I was going to say, no, 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 no. You can't be going in there Mm-mm. seeing that. No, I turned no, right no. back around. I knew. I didn't knock or not. I knew. And I went and told my mom. I was like, uh, Peggy died. Peggy's dead. She's like, how do you know? I go, I smelt her. Oh, my God. She's like, what are you talking Like, I go, Shh. I go call somebody. She's dead. And, and sure call, enough. They called mm-hmm. the police and they came? Oh, the ambulance was there. And they brought her. Oh, yeah. Did you see her come out? Mm-hmm. In the In the... Uh, they put her on the gurney? Yeah, mm-hmm. they didn't, put her, didn't cover her up? They covered her up, oh, yeah. Oh, thank God. Yeah, but I, mm-hmm, so that was a. Uh, Ooh, that's, that's <laughs> a smell you're never going to forget, too. You, I tell you, and My you hear that God. from people, and it's, like, what do you compare it to? Nothing. Nothing, yeah. Nothing. Jesus. She had been there in the heat for days, days on her couch, laid down on her couch for a nap, I think. That's a <clears throat> nice way to go, though. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Like, just like you're, you're kind of warm lying there. Mm-hmm. Probably watching your favorite stories. And after they took her out, we went in there to see if she had any Snickers bars. <laughs> <laughs> Plug your nose and you run in. That's fucking psychotic. Did she? I'm fucking around no, that last okay. part. Oh my God. I was like, that's psychotic. But Eating we should have. Snickers? Fuck. We should have. Oh my God. So would she notice you would take the Snickers? Oh yeah. I think she. That's so funny. And she never like said anything to your mom? Like she didn't tell, tell on you guys? No. And here's why I think that she deep down was, was deep down liked us. Although she was tough on the exterior. Because clearly... She knew someone was coming in because yeah. she had like three things in her freezer and fridge. She was never stocked up. She had her two <laughs> things and her two things. You know what I mean? <laughs> Empty. So she had to have known they were gone because we would just take like half the box. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I do remember one time me and me and my sister Maggie were in there and she had said something like, huh, uh, so my Snickers bars have been, you know, disappearing. And we're just like, I don't, I don't, you know, and looking back, she knew and she let us do it because I, I think she kept them stocked for us. Oh, Peggy, yeah. we love you and your yeah. dead stinky body now. <laughs> right. Look, and I didn't realize that at the time. But looking back, I'm like, I think she kept those in there for Aww. us. Yeah. So wait, are you and your sister are super close? Yeah, super yes. close. I am. Yeah, me and my sister are like besties. Mm-hmm. Do you guys do? Does she do ever stuff with you? I'm the oldest of three, and we're all like okay. a year apart, year and a half apart. So the little one, Beth, she's my tour manager. Oh my god, she is my right hand man. If you if you have a flat tire, guess what? She's not calling somebody to fix it because she's already got it fixed. Oh my god, she is. She's my tour manager. She edits the podcast. She does everything. Um, and then Maggie, the middle sister, um, she works the podcast social media. She My does God. stuff for us. She watches the dogs when we're on the road. And Beth lives with me and Maggie lives five minutes down the road from me. Oh my God. This sounds like the perfect arrangement. I'm Super so jealous. Close. Super close. And they never wanted to perform ever? Hell no. They're not. Are they funny? I think they are. Yeah. Ma- Maggie is especially. She's very quiet and she's on the podcast. 
And she'll, she doesn't say much, but when she does, people are like, man, Maggie, you got to watch out for Maggie, yeah. you know? <laughs> You're like, okay. She's, she's the, yeah, she's on her podcast and she's really funny. But in terms of like anything else, like, they're like no. if you see them in a video of mine, just know that I forced them to be yeah. in it. <laughs> they're like, they're I not, don't want to do this. They're not like jumping to being something they're like, That's all so right. Funny. Yeah. That's so nice and wholesome and yeah. so sweet. What the heck? Well, and people are always like, we're always together and people are always like, oh, dude, I bet y'all fight all the time. I'm like, no, no. never. Literally yeah. never. Yeah. Like I can, I mean, once every five years, somebody will pop off and yeah. then we're the next day. It's, you know, like, sorry. I yeah. You. yeah. That's about yeah. it. For That's real. Fucked. We're very close. That's very close. So nice. And you have nice fans. It sounds like you have very nice Yes. Very supportive fans. Loyal. Yeah. Um, very sweet. Um, so you're not getting like weird. Like I, in Milwaukee, a couple of weeks ago, I had a woman come up to me and go, oh my God, you're actually attractive. Oh. And then her husband <laughs> grabbed my shoulders and called me dirty little slut. And I was like, what is going on right now? It was crazy. Dude. And I, I get like weirdos. Like I feel like, do you get, you must get some like. I get hella weirdos, but I also feel like I'm a weirdo. So it doesn't weird me out. Okay. I get a lot of people who like love to like touch me and kiss me. Okay. And I'm very open to that. Like I don't care. I'm like, not on the lips. Oh yeah. The lips. They'll just women. And also like they'll bring their husbands up and they're like, my, can you please kiss my husband? He wants, and I'm just like, all right. <laughs> Oh my God. Okay. Sure. Kiss them on the lips too? Yeah, if they ask. I'll just, Jesus. I get a lot of people want to grab the tits so much. They, they'll they just come up, motorboat me. Can you motorboat me? I want to take a picture of me grabbing your tit. And I'm very like, oh I feel my. very Elvisy in a way because he like, you know, <laughs> I'm very like, that doesn't weird me out. But then after me, they'll go to Libby for the meet and greet. Yeah. And they'll think they can do the same with her. And she's like. No, no, I'm not. So, yeah, so, yeah, so yeah, you, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're very like open with that, and I. But are they asking before they do these things? Or are they kind of coming? The right men in? always ask. Okay. I've never had a man oh, not okay. ask. Okay, okay. The women, uh, most of the time, do half the time do not. But I don't care. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, this I'm is... very fine with that. Yeah. I understand how a lot of people wouldn't be, but I'm okay with it. You know? Yeah. But <laughs> that's fucking wild. They're very handsy. They're yeah. I get some handsy, but I, I guy I wrote a guy's back in Milwaukee. The, the worst I had was a guy in um uh uh where was I? Philly. It was him okay. and his girlfriend and another couple and they're he's like bizarre around me. He's like he whispers in my ear, he's like, I'm gonna grab your ass. I'm like, No, you're not. He's like, mm, I'm grabbing your ass and then he grabbed it and I was like and then like he walked out and the security guard was like, What just happened? I was like, He grabbed my ass and she's like, I'll be right back and she like followed the guy out. So I was like, that's just when I say no. A hundred percent. I know is no. I was like, you're not. No, you're not. That was, yeah. Oh my God. I don't get that. Or now, thank God that I have this fucking boyfriend. I'm getting way less single men because I was getting a lot of single men that would come out of themselves and like, wow. Think that it was like, they're, they got a chance with me after the show. Yeah. The show's done. Now I get to fuck Steph because she likes sex. <laughs> and I'm like, mm, I wouldn't touch you with my fucking yes. dog's dick. Um, oh my yeah. God. No, I've never had a man not ask. Okay. Usually the wife will ask for it. Them. okay that's so and i'm very funny. different in that way and i realize that but i just yeah i don't i don't yeah you can come grab my tits whatever oh it's, my that's God. that's great you know let's have fun how heavy are those they're big because yeah they are big they're, oh, they're, 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 they're large i'm wearing a bra right now but dude just, yeah are they like oh my god you can crush you hear, two coconuts you hear that? That? I, yeah, I think we all heard that the <laughs> table cracked <laughs> my uh, susan crushed my dog can you imagine my dog died because of your <laughs> giant breasts <laughs> I'd be so upset. Aww. Rest in peace. How'd she die? Well, Chelsea's huge jugs. Um, took her out one last time. Oh my god. Do you have more body things? Oh, let's see what's going on. Let's what's see going, what's going on. You got else? the Let me think here. Uh, um Those are pretty big though. Those are pretty like well, oh I can ask my favorite question. What's the worst body thing you've ever heard? Well you you smelt the dead body. What's the worst body thing I've ever heard? Yeah. Like that we, you. we had someone call into our podcast and tell us that, well, she had heard from someone. This wasn't yeah, directly okay, from her, okay. but still, I'm going to go with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. That this girl and her boyfriend love to use, I don't even know if this is true, but I still think about it, love to use food and stuff to fuck with. Uh -huh. And he would put things in her and he put mayonnaise in her and all this uh -huh. stuff. And I don't know if some stuff was left up there or what, but maggots formed. 
There's so many maggots on this fucking podcast. Is there? It's like literally <clears throat> insane how gross. I don't know what to tell you, but that's this is worse. This is worse than any other maggot things. And in the vagina. In, a, in the uh, hole. How, how many? Deep in the crevice. Deep I, in the crevice. I, mm-hmm. I don't, she didn't go into detail, but I, she just told us that. And I just was like, you got to be kidding me. I would remove my vagina. I. Yeah. That's it. We're done. We're, it's finished. We'd funnel bleach in that oh, motherfucker. Oh, we would be upside down and we would do a full keg stand of bleach. Yes. There's no way in hell. Douching with pine saw is what we'd be doing. That is the, literally. Mm. Uh, yeah. Uh, th- there's two podcasts ago. We had, we had, we had a. Bad, a bad maggot story. This, this was. I think this is worse. This might be worse. In the pussy. Yeah. Also, what are you doing? Just have right. Just put a wiener in there. I'm sorry. Just put a wiener in there. Put, everyone's getting carried away. <laughs> There's lube. Mayonnaise. Uh, mayonnaise. Is, put it on the penis. Lick now, it off that. And here's also, the thing. No, this guy's got a food fetish. D- and here's the thing. I've stuck a garden squash up there. That's fine. It's a, solid. How big is, is this? Is, one of those su- yellow summer squashes. Okay, yeah. I don't know why I was thinking like a big. No, no, not okay. the big zucchini. No, 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 no it's like, about Jesus that big. Christ. Okay. I talk about it a lot. <laughs> yeah, and we ate it after. Greg washed it off and we ate it. Was it good? It was perfectly fine. <laughs> but that's solid. There's nothing coming no, off no, of no. it. No, no, no. And you obviously wash it before you put it in there. Exactly. You're put the pesticides up there. Okay, right. yeah, yeah. But Did he put it in there for you or you put it in there? He put it in there. He okay. was having a ball. He's a... <laughs> He was having a blast. He was having an absolute blast. I lived with my grandma at the time in college, and my grandpa always had a summer garden. And <laughs> Oh, no. This is making it worse. It was your grandpa's homemade garden? Yeah, homemade. Oh, homegrown. no. Hey, the homegrown hits different in there. <laughs> <laughs> the homegrown hits my different God. in there. God. Because you knew it, it was built with love. Right, right, right. And it's like a family heirloom. He almost. had a, the whole kitchen table stacked with fresh garden veggies, and I guess Greg just saw the yellow squash and just had an idea. And <laughs> next thing you know, that's real. Sick, but don't sick stick, idea. Don't stick, man. It, no, we're not putting things in there we can't get back out. And right. mayonnaise? Have you read the ingredients? It's pretty much just oil and eggs. It's very bizarre. I don't know if you've read. That's that's disgusting. Putting, you're putting raw. Yes. You're putting raw eggs in your pussy. Not good. No, that's bad. Not good. Ew, 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 mm-hmm. ew, ew. I hate that. I, I do too. I really hate that. That's no, that's going to affect me for a bit now. It, it, I still think about it. That's why I said I still think about it. I don't even know if that's possible. Can maggots live in there? Yes, they can. Then maggots really like I think I think skin and like warmth and like that that's perfect for them in there. I'm going home and scooping out whatever's in my pussy, knowing there's <laughs> nothing in there right now. I will scoop. I'm gonna those long, the hands that you like mm-hmm. scratch your back with those long ones. I'm gonna get in there and I'm gonna fucking. I think I everything. I think I'm gonna scoop too when I get home. <laughs> we're, we're gonna have a big scoop. Let's, let's, let's go. I was face out each other. I'd fucking have a full let's scoop. Scoop. Jesus Christ. That's wild. Did you? Yeah. Nothing else weird. In the, did your your parents in the trailer say anything weird growing up? Like any weird body <gasps> stuff? Like threatening you stuff? Just, like. They just had bad tattoos. Do you have any tattoos? I don't have any, and I love them. I love tattoos so much. My sisters, it's alarming. My sisters have sleeves. And I'm so jealous. Why? I can't. I'm honestly alarmed. You don't. I think I would look fucking stupid. Not even like one little guy. See, that's worse. If I want them, I want to be decked out. Okay. I don't want two or three little ones. Okay. Okay. That ain't gonna do it for me. I want a full sleeve of like wolves and buckies and, and bug the buckies <laughs> logo right there. Oh my god! And I just I don't know. I I it I feel like it doesn't. It's not gonna look good on me. I've always felt that. What was your the bad ones your parents had? Oh God, homemade prison tats. They like were they, they did those second pokes in and out of jail my whole life. Every time one got out, they'd have new tattoos. Horrible. Any face ones? No, surprisingly. Okay, okay. My dad had a big lion right here, and it just looked. It, the tattoos were horrible. So yeah, if you're gonna get that, that would turn me off getting them. If yeah, you saw that many bad ones. Exactly. Yeah. But oh man, I wish I was decked out. I wish I was decked out. What you is, still can. I know. I've always said that when I turn fifty, I'm getting a mullet. And I've said this before mullets were back. They're I back now, yeah, so it's not believe, as shocking. Yeah, because your hair's just like mm-hmm. long and straight. Like, yeah. Like kind of layered a little bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. But when I turn 50, I am getting, I mean, I want it short and spiky up here. <laughs> and I want it permed in the back. When I say I want it to be the coolest mullet you've ever seen, I'm getting it. You would fucking suit it, though. And you know that. Oh, I think it'll. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And you know what? I may throw on a tat there. I think well, you're going to have to. You can't do a mullet, no tat. Get a tattoo of a mullet. 
Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mullet and mullet. There it yeah. is. Get a tattoo of me with the mullet yes, right yes, here. Yes, 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 yes. Do people have tattoos of you? Oh, yeah. And that's weird. Say, I was going to say that must be it. What, mm -hmm. what is your... Okay. Oh, Mostly what? just of Tammy. Does, does your face or mm -hmm. does it say, say Tammy? Um, both. I have a lot of autographs on me. I have a lot okay. of uh, quotes and sayings that Tammy has said or I've said on the podcast tattooed. Oh, really? And then people do... There's a, there's a picture of Tammy squatting and people get that whole body of Tammy tattooed. It's wild. Oh my God! I'm always like, what? That's a new. Do they show you, or do they? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. They'll show me at shows. They'll tag, you know, send it on Instagram, whatever. Like, You're like Joe Rogan. <laughs> Insane. This is crazy. The Joe Rogan's like the only other person I know who's gotten like people do tattoos of them. The trashier Joe Rogan. That is me. So funny. Oh, it's it's a lot. It's wild. A lot of people. Insane. Like over twenty. Oh yeah, probably hundreds. Oh my God! It's insane. And I'm doing a cruise in March. Yes. And we're having a tattoo artist on there. So we're going to try to have like a sheet of oh like Tammy stuff for March. Him. What? When is this fucking cruise? March 22nd through the 25th uh, to the Bahamas. It goes uh, set sail. Is this, is this sold out yet? Dude, like, it's, it's not sold out yet, but it's it's close. It's like 90% sold. <laughs> I'm like, do I, I think I want to come on this cruise. I'll get a cabin it for you. It sounds insane. Tammy's pontoon party is what this we're is crazy. It. Yeah, this sounds so fun. It's like it's, fucking party. So you're doing like you do like your show every night. Like how how would the shows run? Yeah, we have activities during the day. Okay, um, a bunch of stuff planned, and then at night we have a show each night, a stand up show, and I'm gonna try to film my first special on it. That's you should do it. I, I think I'm going to. It's not. No, it's no, no, not. No. Just film it concrete, yeah. but it's we're yeah. probably gonna do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get the get the stuff. Get make sure it's in the like. Yeah, you doing you filming yourself? Or no, you I'm, a team? I'm having a team film. Yeah, it. yeah, yeah. Okay, great. Yeah, so they know the right yes, yes, yes. Yeah, no, do it. No, no definitely. I, this because mm -hmm. also like that's I don't think there's ever been a, a special filmed on a. Mm -mm. That's yeah. what that's yeah. what we've talked about. Yeah, so it's gonna be cool. It's cool as hell. I'm excited. Uh, you should be excited. That sounds fun. I'll get you a cabin, bitch. No, literally, I, I'm literally checking my calendar right now. March 22nd to 25th, from Miami to the Bahamas. Tammy's pontoon party. <laughs> I, th I, I think I have the weekend off. 22nd, 25th. I, I, I got I think you. I'm going. Come do a set, too. Oh, I'll, I'll fucking do a set. You insane? Yes. You nuts? I'll be out there fucking yelling my pussy <laughs> after I'm like hammered eating a buffet all day. Yes. Oh, my God. That sounds so fun. I'm excited. This it's is gonna insane. Be fun. That's We've been like, planning it for like a year. Oh, yeah. This is crazy. Mm-hmm. Because I just went to my, well, cause my boyfriend works in cruises. Yeah. Yeah. So I been mean, I went with him. And I saw y'all on a cruise. Well, yeah. He's so cute. He's very cute. Y'all are cute together. Thank you. I'm very happy. I love when you post. I post a lot. We, yeah, yeah, we're posting. We got some stuff down the pipeline. Okay. Um, okay. Yes. Go. Okay. We got to wrap this up. But this has been so fun. I'm so glad we finally fucking met. Please, if you're not following Chelsea, you're fucking stupid. Go on the damn cruise. Follow the social media. You're touring everywhere. So go check out our tour dates. Yeah. My, uh, you can get tickets on my website, which is, get this. Let's hear it. It's a real website. Eatmytrash.com. I love that. Isn't that cool? That's the fucking best. I and snagged it. <laughs> Eatmytrash.com. For, get tickets now. They are going to sell out. So don't be fucking stupid. Yeah. What's your podcast? Show your podcast out. Uh, podcast is The Viral Podcast. Yeah. So you'll find it. So yeah. just search that, you know, and yeah, follow me on Instagram. Help me get back up to a billion yeah, followers. Oh my God, please. <sighs> that they stole from me. Hey, and Instagram. Come to, uh, come to a show. Come to the Tammy's Pontoon Party. Yes. I'll be there. Yes. Thank you so much for coming on. It's been so fun. Thank you, honeys. Thank uh, you for having me. Oh, uh, bye. Bye. <laughs>